Questions Anonymous by Teens. How does the vagina open so wide? So there is a hormone called relaxin that is released um, from throughout the whole pregnancy. And that hormone relaxes muscles, loosens up the joints and the ligaments, all in preparation throughout the whole nine months preparing for labor and delivery. Um, this makes it possible for the cervix. The cervix, is, cervix is like a tubular um, structure between the uterus and the vagina. And so that tubular structure um, near the end of pregnancy during pre-labor, it will start to efface, which means it will start thinning out and then it will start dilating. And that that is when the contractions start happening, that is what causes um, causes things to stretch out over time and gradually. So my little bullseye here is what the doctors use, you know, one centimeter dilated, and then it goes all the way up to 10. And so active labor begins about six centimeters dilated. And with that, I have a cool activity that I saw of why it's necessary. So I've got a ball in here. So I've got a ball inside this balloon. And the ball represents the baby. This represents the cervix. And this represents the uterus. And you know, when you have Braxton Hicks, it doesn't really do much. It just kind of contracts in certain areas. But contractions of labor begin at the top of the uterus. And you know, they just kind of contract and release. Contract. And you see the cervix will start facing. Get out of the way because once this comes out. So as the cervix effaces, the um then you'll start seeing the dilation. That's where the doctor will be able to feel there's a dilation. The dilation, you know, the contractions just gradually move things along. I better make sure I'm out of the way. I'm losing air. <laughs> we can say that's the amniotic sac, right? <laughs> and then it just kind of, as it contracts, things dilate and, ex and stretch out. And then eventually, once it's around 10 centimeters, the baby gets born. So um, the, it's, it happens gradually and over time. Um, the cervix will, um, will efface and dilate. And, oh, and like pre-labor begins, um, can begin a few weeks before active labor. And so mom can stay um, dilated for one or two centimeters for weeks. And then um, once um, early labor begins, it'll, it would be a um, gradual process where things will start to escalate. And after six centimeters dilated, that's when active labor is, is considered and about, um, the cervix will dilate about a centimeter every hour until the cervix is um, opened up enough for the baby to come through.